Hey there, everybody. Thomas Wood with Basecamp Trading. It is Wednesday, November 7th, and we're going to take a look really quick at the SPX. And more specifically, we're going to look at the hedge fund breakout indicator on the SPX and the trades from the end of the day yesterday and into today and how they're playing out, how it's worked. Now, this is on a five minute price chart with the SPX. And again, this has been back tested uh, and it's identified when the opportunities or what the settings are for this market and this time frame, which is what we do for a lot of different markets and time frames. This indicator has specific settings for every single market. Okay. Now with that being said, the way the indicator works for those of you that are not familiar with it, a big pink dot means buy. The blue line is your stop. The white line is your target. So big pink dot buy. If it has a dot above it, it's a sell signal. And then again, you'd have a stop and a target. So what's your intended to do in the way that the back tests work is it identifies targets and stops and then you once you get in you set it and forget it it either is going to hit your target it's going to hit your stop uh, but once you enter you don't have to mess with it at all so this is the spx obviously it had a long signal yesterday afternoon right down here it went up didn't quite hit the target but it gapped up very nicely and you're, you would have been filled right at the open here today which worked out really well then again we had another long entry later uh, in the day at about 10 35 this morning triggering a long breakout triggered followed through very nicely hit the target and then again it triggered another long entry here uh, at about one o'clock a little bit before one o'clock uh, that is still open and pending you have your stop in place and your target set and you just be waiting that being said today with how far we've already moved because the spx from yesterday were up um about 50 points or so because we're already up about 50 points you want to be careful we're pretty extended on the day so this is one I'd, I'd probably say okay we're going to go ahead and close that early and not hold it because the market's already played out most of its strength so keep that in mind uh, there are small adjustments we can make but either way has played out extremely well and, and the thing i want you to notice though is that it signals the way that this is working is it's looking for compression breakouts within the context of a pre-existing or pre-established trend so it has a bullish bias because it's in an uptrend and it's looking for compression breakouts in the direction of that bullish bias and that signals along. So for example, here we can press break out to the upside. We can press over here, break out to the upside. We can press right here, break out to the upside. And you'll notice that this targets are much further away than the stops are. Stops are pretty close, relatively speaking, to where your entry is. And the reason that's important is because you do and you will have losing trades. Uh, for example, yesterday we had a couple losing trades right before the big winner. So keep that in mind. The reward risk is important, but everything's back tested and has a profitable reward risk slash or a, a back tested profitable reward risk and percent win balance. All right. So for those of you that do not have this yet, the link is in the description below. You can get it there at bctnow.com forward slash up. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.